was all smiles as the budget was signed after the successful resolution of the impasse caused by Republicans in the Senate that resulted in the budget being 52 days late. This is a budget that protects the two mainstays of the people of California. One, it protects public safety and law enforcement, and two, it protects education. The speaker also talked about what he hopes all involved in the budget process have learned. You know, I hope that we really do learn a lesson from this, and, and the lesson is not how we can be more ideological, but rather how we can be less ideological. Uh, the lesson here is not you know, whether we strengthen the GOP or the Democratic Party, but do we strengthen the people of California. The focus now shifts to reforming the health care system in the state. The only way to do comprehensive health care reform is with a simple majority vote. Uh, the governor, uh, you know, has an ambitious plan. Uh, you know, a lot of people look at it and call it a plan and a proposal. Uh, we're going to make it a proposal. We're going to put it on the floor of the assembly and we're going to put it for a vote. Speaker Nunez says he wants to put the governor's proposal up for a vote by the end of next week to see if it can get any Republican votes. Don Andrews, Speaker's Office of Member Services.